Okay, guys and gals, so these are both three and a half quart uh, pieces of cookware from Le Creuset. They're both cast iron, they're both enamel. But you will notice that even though they have the same volume, they are very, very different. And the reason is because this is the ground Dutch oven and this is the brazier. So a few people have asked me what the difference is and what the benefit of each one is. And while I think you should probably have both of them in your, in your repertoire of cookware, uh, let me explain to you the differences and you guys can decide for yourselves which one's better and which one you, know, you might want to have if you can only have one. The point of a brazier is to essentially have the food half in liquid, half outside, and you use the steam and whatnot from the actual cooking process to break down connective tissue. The point of a Dutch oven, in terms of a stew or a brazier or what have you, is really to stew. So the idea here is you have the liquid all the way up, and you have the meat fully submerged in the liquid, and you're using the actual uh, liquid to cook the food, whereas in here you're using half liquid and half steam, sort of a little evaporation cycle going on on the food. They have their pros and their cons. It really depends on what type of food you want to deal with. But the other differences are that, as you can see, this is a much taller vessel than this is. So a lot of times you can't really fit two of these, one on top of the other, inside of your oven if you're trying to cook a lot. But you can easily fit two of these little guys inside of your oven, one on top of the other on two different racks if you're trying to do two of the same food or, you know, you have a large party. The other reason that I really like the brazers and that I think that if you're going to get one or the other, maybe a brazer might be a good choice is because you can also sort of use it as a saute pan or a pan on your stovetop if you ever want to use, you know, a little cast iron enamel pan. So that's pretty exciting. And you can sear a lot more things at once on this than you could otherwise. But at the end of the day, I think it really just depends on exactly what it is you want to do, what type of cooking you want to do. I think that honestly, Having one of each just because they're used for such different types of cooking is really a smart choice. But at the end of the day, like I said, it just depends on the type of cooking you want to do and what you feel most comfortable with. I'll put a link down to both below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, as always, just uh, let me know. But otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.